From renewed hostilities between Israel and Hamas to the tremendous suffering of civilians in Sudan, ongoing conflicts in Ukraine, Myanmar, Ethiopia and the Sahel, and that 2023 was the hottest year on record. Wildfires, drought and storms affected the lives of millions of people globally. These and many other human rights crises and their consequences are not solvable by governments acting alone. But the international human rights framework, the collection of rules states have agreed upon, provides the roadmap to protect everyone's dignity. We have seen what's possible when people's human rights are respected and protected. In June, following years of civil society pressure, the Japanese parliament passed its first law to protect lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender people from unfair discrimination. Brazil's Supreme Court upheld all Indigenous peoples' rights to their traditional lands. The ruling was a huge boost for Indigenous people in their fight to preserve their way of life. Despite the power of human rights to protect everyone's dignity, the system of rules we rely on to deliver on that promise is under threat. Many countries quickly and justifiably condemned the attacks on October 7 by Hamas, but many others have been reserved in responding to the actions by the Israeli government in the collective punishment of civilians in Gaza. Meanwhile, armed conflict in Sudan has led to widespread abuses, but has attracted little international attention, while the people of Sudan continue to pay the highest price. This selective outrage leaves the impression that some lives matter more than others, which undermines faith in the idea that everyone's human rights deserve protection. And when governments ignore their human rights commitments altogether in the name of security or trade, when dealing with autocratic leaders, it can embolden those leaders to extend the reach of their repression. Civil society, courts and human rights commissions are also increasingly under threat by governments that want to exercise power without constraints. And governments are increasingly using technology platforms to silence and censor critics. These threats underline that governments should urgently respect, protect and defend human rights to build thriving and inclusive societies. Upholding human rights consistently across the board, no matter who the victims are or where rights violations are being committed, is the only way to build the world we want to live in, where everyone's dignity is respected and protected.